This video is brought to you by Sailrite. In this video we're going to be making a mass sleeve uh, installation. Um, this mass sleeve will also include a boot and it's often used in lasers and force 5 sails and other similar applications where your mass needs to run up a sleeve. Since this is a sail kit, the sleeve has been cut via the plotter. This is a tapered sleeve that measures approximately 11 inches at the bottom and 9 inches at the top. For most Force 5 and laser sails, it's usually 11 inches at the bottom and 8.5 at the top, and it's a tapered sleeve. Let's get started and show you how to you build hold this. It right on line. At the top of the sleeve here, we'll create a 2 inch hem. So Deb's folding it right across the top. And we want to mark our center. Nine inches in this case would be four and a half inch would be the center. And then our webbing's going to come down here five inches from the top edge of the hem. And this is your center line here. We're using two inch webbing. So it might be a little bit easier just to mark inch outside of that line so you know where your webbing is going to fall when you go to lay it on. You get your two little tick marks here to line up the outer edge because you're not going to see your center mark when your webbing's on it. Bring this one down to the five inch. We'll stitch that on but first we want to sew two rows of our stitches across here to hold the hem down. We'll be using the Sailrite Professional Long Arm Four Point Sewing Machine to sew this entire uh, sail kit. However, you can do it easily with a two-point zigzag, whether it be an ultra feed or sometimes even a home sewing machine. A standard zigzag for sails is typically a 3 16 inch width and a 3 16 inch length. So your stitches, if you're using a two-point zigzag, will be much smaller than what you see here in the video. The advantage to a four-point uh, zigzag is that you can do one row, oftentimes down seams instead of two. We're going to use double-sided tape or seam stick to hold the webbing in place prior to sewing so it doesn't move on us. And Deb's going to put two rows of this double-sided tape down. Tape Simply peel off the paper revealing the glue and then base the webbing on top in its appropriate position. Okay, so we've got the hem made here, same hem at the bottom, and then we're going to run around this with a zigzag stitch to secure that on. Anytime you're sewing a length of stitches, you should do some reversing at the beginning and the end. Even though we're using a four-point sewing machine here, you can use a two-point sewing machine and follow the same exact procedure. Now we'll fold that material down the center, all the way down its length. Okay, we want to fold our sleeve and crease the center. Yeah, I'm running seam stick down the 
seam line on the edge where the sleeve is marked to, for the sleeve to be put on. And it's, uh, you're going to want to put seam stick on both sides of the sail. And that way, when you get ready to lay this up, you'll be able to stick it down onto the back and stick it down onto the front to hold it in place while you sew it on. Okay, now we have our crease down the center, hem, and our webbing on. So now we want to take and start putting the edge onto the sail. This is a sail kit and there's a line plotted a half inch away from the left edge. If it's, you don't have a sail kit and you're making a sleeve for an already existing sail, you need to place the sleeve a half inch over the edge. Putting it on the front and then we'll flip it over to the back. Jeff Frank is plotting sails in the background and what you're hearing is the vacuum noise of the plotter sucking down the fabric to the plotting and cutting table. We apologize for that. Put our first edge on, flip the edge over, and put our second edge on. This is the tack corner. We didn't show putting a hem there, but you would want to put a two inch hem there or smaller if the sleeve tape is not long enough. Even an inch hem is sufficient. Now Deb's using the four point machine and she's just going to place a single stitch along the entire length of that uh, sleeve. If you don't have a four-point machine and you just have a two-point machine, you want to put two rows of a zigzag right next to each other to secure the sleeve to the sail. And Deb is now backstitching when she gets to the end of the stitch, just to lock everything in place. We're going to mark down approximately 10 inches from the head of the sail here, and that'll be the stop point for our webbing. So we're going to run the webbing over the head and down the leech edge approximately 10 inches, as shown here in the video. We'll put a mark on the webbing where we want to cut it, and then we'll take it over to the hot knife and trim it to size. This is the Engel hot knife and we're using the R blade which is not included with the knife. The Engel hot knife is a great hot knife because it heats up in about four seconds. If you don't have that you could use a wood burning tool, soldering gun, or even a lighter. Be careful. We'll place a mark here on the webbing where it uh, eventually transfers over to the leech edge. Again, we'll use the double-sided tape to base this webbing in place so that we can take it over the sewing machine and nothing will move on us while we're sewing it. We'll cut it here at the head where we've indicated the head transfers over to the leech. Once that's done, then carefully base the webbing to the leech edge, folding it down the center and butting it up against the side of the sail as closely as possible. If you don't like the way it looks or doesn't hold, you can always apply more double-sided tape or peel it up and reapply it. We'll now take it over the sewing machine and we'll do two rows of stitches in the webbing, reversing at the beginning and the end. Again, we're using the four-point machine, but you can do this with the standard two-point zigzag machine as well. We'll stop right at the head. We'll not go any further than at the head where the stack run stops. Turn back stitch before starting the ends happen. Again, we apologize for the plotter vacuum noise in the background.
kind of feel in there where that sail ends so you're not sewing your web together. Okay, now we've got both stitches down. I don't know if you can see those or not, but we have two rows of zigzag now. And your mask will be coming up through here and your webbing will stop it. The mast sleeve installation is now done to this sail. That's all there is to it. I'm Mara Grant with Sailrite. Thanks for watching this video. Bye bye.